Hey all, welcome back to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. My name is Kurt. Today we're going to talk about a topic that we probably should have discussed some time ago, but we're getting around to it and we're going to do it today. We're going to, we're going to discuss the best bourbons for beginners. I get loads and loads of comments from people who are just starting out in their journey of whiskey and bourbon and they're just asking you know normal typical questions uh, which ones are the best what proof point how much should i spend is this much too much to spend are these are these bottom shelf bourbons even worth buying is it something that i should be getting into because you know when hey when you're just getting started i remember when i was just getting started i had a million questions too uh, luckily for me i had my brother who had already who had already kind of been down that road quite a bit and he was able to help me along the way so I just want to basically share with you what helped me the most as far as uh, bourbons at the beginning of my journey that helped me uh, get my palate set and, and help me uh, find the particular types of whiskeys that I truly enjoy and, and I really hope that it helps you as well as always you know, there's a hundred ways to think about this, a hundred ways to think about it, but I want you to give me in the comments your suggestions because that helps me out the most. I, I really learn a lot from each and every one of you. And, you know, there's, there's different ways to go about this. So I'd like to hear your way too. see what I got to say and then let me know what you think. So as far as I am concerned, I particularly believe for beginners, it's all about proof point. And, it's, and to me, it's a lot about price, too. Uh, as far as proof point, you know, you need to really start at some lower proof bottles, you know, 80 to 90 proof, but then kind of level out right there at about 100 proof. You don't want to be getting like a cask strength barrel proof bourbon in front of you that's about 120 or 130 proof. That's just going to blow you away. Uh, you work up to that. That's something you can work up to. Price point. It's really no sense at when you're just starting out and you really don't know exactly you know what you're looking for to pay eighty dollars even fifty dollars for a bottle so those are the two that's that's the structure that we're going to have for the video today price and proof so let's get going we don't want this to drag on too long so i'm going to give you just some real quick special mentions very very quickly evan williams bottle and bond a great place to start the only reason this isn't in the video is because we've talked about it many, many times on our videos. So um, Evan Williams, Bottle and Bond, great starting bourbon. Also, Buffalo Trace, another one, fantastic place to start. A little lower proof, a lot of sweet flavors. It's not in the video just because it's very, very hard to find. Last but not least on the special mentions. Michter's American Whiskey, and this is my favorite. This absolutely would have been in the video. This is a phenomenal starting whiskey, but the only reason I didn't put it in the video because it's actually not a bourbon. It was not aged in new oak barrels. It was aged in used whiskey barrels, so hence it's called American Whiskey. Absolutely, positively a great place to start for a new bourbon drinker. All right, that's my special mentions very first bottle that I want to show you tonight. Let's get going with it. Ancient Age. Ancient Age cost me about 10 bucks and it comes in at 80 proof. This is a high rye entry level bourbon from Buffalo Trace. Ancient Age has been in production since 1946 and has a long history in the bourbon world. Now let me tell you, for 10 bucks, it's a great place to start because it's only $10. You know, if you don't actually like it that much, you're out 10 bucks. But it's got some, it, it has some really nice uh, honey, a little bit of vanilla, and it's got a little bit of spice kick to it, believe it or not. For 80 proof, with that higher higher rye mash bill, it's got a little bit of a spice kick to it too. So I think it's, a, it's an excellent, excellent choice to get a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of spice for very, very low price. All right, moving down the line. Old Forester. 86. This old Forester cost me about 20 bucks and does come in at 86 proof. 
The Old Forester brand was introduced in 1870 by George Garvin Brown. This Kentucky Straight Bourbon is made from a mash bill of 72% corn, 18% rye, and 10% malted barley. This 86 proof bourbon is the brand's entry level product. Let's face it, Old Forester puts out some incredible, incredible stuff. They really, really do. It's 86 proof, so in my mind, I, you know, for a, for a beginner just getting into bourbon, bourbon, that's perfect. Around 86 proof, and the flavors are really, really good. You get a little bit of brown sugar in there, a touch of nutmeg, and just a, a hint of some oak in there too. Excellently balanced, perfect place to start. Next bottle I have in line for you, oh, you knew I had to do it. Wild Turkey 101. This bottle cost me about $23 and of course comes in at 101 proof. Wild Turkey 101 is the flagship brand of Wild Turkey. It is a blend of six, seven, and eight year old bourbons with a mash bill of 75% corn, 13% rye, and 12% malted barley. They also use a heavy number four char on their barrels which helps create the company's flavor profile and deep color. If you've watched this channel much at all, you know that I really love Wild Turkey products and especially this, this Wild Turkey 101. I think it's a little bit right on the crest of, of where I'd want to start as far as higher proof of where I'd want to start somebody at the beginning of their journey, being at that 101 proof, right at that 100 proof level, I think, I think is where you really want to cap out at. But to me, the flavors are just, are just quintessential bourbon. There you go, honey. I said it quintessential bourbon it's just it's 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 caramel it's vanilla on the back end with a beautiful toasted oak it's just fabulous and for 22 23 bucks you absolutely can't beat it great place to start next one on the list early times bottled and bond early times bottled and bond cost me about 25 bucks and is 100 proof Early Times Bottle and Bond was released as a limited edition in July of 2017. Since then, distribution has expanded due to its popularity. Early Times Bottle and Bond has a mash bill of 79% corn, 11% rye, and 10% malted barley, and has been aged for at least four years. Hey, and in my mind, this one here is a fabulous, fabulous uh, beginner bourbon. It is right at that 100 proof. I'll put you, I'll give you that. But I believe it has a, has a fantastic depth of flavor. It's creamy. It's a bit viscous. Has some citrus, and it comes in with a, a little bit of a vanilla. And then, and there at the end, you get a little bit of like a like a little bit of smoke or like a little bit of a tobacco right at the end. It's really, really neat. It gives you a little bit of a journey with this particular bottle. So I think it's, it's really, really a great, great beginner bourbon. One to try for sure. Last on the list, last but not least, of course, Evan Williams Single Barrel. Evan Williams Single Barrel cost me about 30 bucks and comes in at 86.6 proof. Since 1983, the master distiller of Heaven Hill has chosen select barrels for this single barrel series. Each bottle is dated with the vintage date of when the bourbon was distilled along with the year it was bottled. Evan Williams' single barrel has been aged between seven and eight years. All right, for, for this particular bottle at 30 bucks, this one also is, is, is very, has a wonderful mouthfeel. It's very creamy. It has a little bit of aged oak in there, and then it comes in with like sweet caramels. It just has a ridiculous flavor profile, but it does also get you with a little bit of a spice, like a little bit of a cinnamon spice there too at the end. And how can you go wrong? This is a great place for a beginner to try a seven to eight year old aged bourbon, you know, in a single barrel fashion. I just I just don't think that you can it's got some great flavors too so I just don't think for a beginner that's one to pass up that's absolutely one to put on your list hey that's all I have for you today once again please let me know what your thoughts are and what your comments and what suggestions that you would have for fantastic bourbons for the beginners that's part of our community I think that would be great and a great way to try to move them along in their whiskey journey. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. Hey, we'll see you next time, right down here with me, 
in the good old basement bourbon bar. See you later. Thank you.